we have added the option inside our thread milling operation when doing multiple rough cuts, allowing you to do rough patterns. The classic way, way it used to work is then when you did a rough pattern, as you see over here in option one, is that it always went through the middle up until it got to the end cutting on both sides of the cutter at all times. Taking a quick look at the simulation, and I'd like to zoom in to this area over here, you'll see that the cutter, as it goes into the part, the first cut always takes on both sides. And in this particular case, the second cut will do the same as well. You can see that material is being taken off on either side as the cutter as it's going into the part. If I were to change this to option number two, this will actually have the cutter always cut from the top down. In other words, always cutting only from the bottom part of the cutter. If we were to run our simulation, again, we'll stop at the cutting point. You'll note that now it's starting from the top. As we go further down into the part, you see that the cutter itself will always be cutting at the bottom of the cutter itself, of the thread mill, going down until it finishes that particular cut. The third option is just the opposite, starting from the bottom up. But now let's go to the fourth option. The fourth option actually works in a zigzag, first starting sort of in the middle, but cutting on both sides, then the next one will cut from the top and bottom alternatively. Let's take a look at the simulation. You'll see that the first cut will cut pretty much in the middle as shown over here. The next cut, as we zoom in, you'll see now that it's cutting only on one side. This side is not cutting at all. If I go down to the next step, You'll see this time it's cutting from the top and not the bottom. In other words, it's doing a zigzag of the cutting pattern as it's going through until it finishes the entire thread.